Hey everyone, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude back with another Jurassic World toy review. So today we'll be looking at this brand new uh, Jurassic World Battle Damage Albertosaurus. So this is a repaint of um, the Dino Rivals Albertosaurus and um, it's recently been released here in Canada. I believe just yesterday um, these guys have been popping up. Uh, that's when I got mine. Um, so they were out originally, just I believe not in North America. I've checked eBay, Amazon, and all over, and I don't see any um, for sale on the internet as of now. But I have seen, so far, one in Walmart, this one here. And it is one of the most beautiful repaints of just an amazing sculpt. So I'm so glad Mattel um, released this guy up here. And I love the paint job on the face, too. With It's kind of like... Um, war paint as I've heard a few reviewers say and on the back of the box we got a very nice render um, showing the organs and the the bones on the side and then it's also got these figures which I believe aren't in North America at the moment I haven't seen them Gassosaurus, the Grey Raptor and the Triceratops so hopefully, because this guy came out up here, we'll see a wider release of the other battle damage figures. And you hit the side, there's the ribs, you hit that, and you got a stomach. So yeah. And I also love the powdery blue color. It's um, very unique and very nice to see that they're uh, differing from the usual. And it's cool that um, the 2020 lineup also has other Canadian dinosaurs like Inmontosaurus and Sarpelta. So it really fits well. So let's get this guy out of the box, or gal. Snip. Oh, and we got one foot. Oh, and another foot. So both feet are anchored down by elastics. Holy cow. That's absolutely fantastic. So the stomach has like this lighter color. Um, the whole stomach's not painted, just kind of the throat, but that's seen on this figure as well. And the rest of it, of course, is the powdery blue. The legs have articulation at the side and the typical scratch that you see on the other mold as well. The tail has the ability to pivot up and you can also stand the figure up. And the arms have limited um, back and forth movement, and the head has very nice rotation and articulation. I know um, this lineup's also supposed to see a green Albertosaurus coming out, and I believe the figure's going to be a, um, a massive biter or whatever they're called, where you click on the tail and the mouth chomps, and you can move the head manually with, or with the tail. So that'll be interesting to see, and hopefully it's different from the battle damage. Even though I absolutely love this feature with the squishy um, stomach and the battle damage. The jaw, also, um, you can just open and close it. It's very tight, so you can get different angles on it as well without it being floppy or loose. And the eyes actually have um, the black people and yellow, which a lot of figures just have just have the eyes painted and the pupil is the same color as the rest of the figure but these guys have black dots on their eyes which I absolutely love that feature that detail and um, like the attention to that detail in the figure is absolutely amazing and really ties it together um, the nails aren't painted but the toenails all are it's seen on this figure as well that that's the same so I wouldn't you know expect more from it and the inside of the mouth is fully painted pink. So yes, this figure is definitely well worth it. I was under the belief that it was um, a cancelled figure as um, for a while, I think a few months, it wasn't released um, widely. I'm not sure where it has been released. Um, I've seen a few posts and pictures from other people um, on this figure that they've got. So. It's definitely out in other countries, just not, I believe, North America as of this moment. But now that it's out in Canada, hopefully other people can order it or have um, 
fellow collectors up here help them out and get their hands on this very stunning and beautiful figure. So yeah, I'm excited to um, do some photography with it and get out with, um, yeah, get out with this very beautiful and stunning figure. Um, so that's all I know on it. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be a very common or very rare figure. Um, as I've just checked out one Walmart so far, I'll definitely do a uh, follow-up video, hopefully, in the next few weeks as I check out other Walmarts. Um, but hopefully this figure does come out to the States or is a wide release here in Canada, so at least um, we won't have a situation like Spinosaurus and Battle Damage Spinosaurus where it's just exclusive to up here, as well as the other Battle Damage um, Dino Ravels figures which still haven't came out in the States. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, did I do the scan code? That would have been tragic. Here is the scan code and the box scan code as well for those of you who wanna get people to scan them at Walmart and see if there's any in the back. So yeah, again, thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have seen this in stores or um, possibly other places you can get it, like other countries and other stores. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.